Hey guys, welcome back for another thrilling episode of Cross Stitch Cats and Chaos. I do have Sila behind me, sitting at my table. Maybe I can get a glance at her. I came out here to my sunroom today to film because it's a beautiful day in Michigan. And I wanted to enjoy the sun as I'm watching a squirrel in my bird feeder. Dude. Dude. Save some for the birds for crying out loud. Anywho, um, the cats were just fighting in the background. Kind of glad you missed that. I don't need to be reported to like hum some humane society or something. It was like WWF back there. It's like, really, guys? Okay, come on. Hmm. So, anywho, um, I came out here because, again, like I said, it was really sunny outside. It's beautiful. I don't know what the weather's like. All I know is that my body is telling me that we're going to get rain or something coming up. I'm, Speaking of squirrel, I'm like the flipping animals outside. I can like predict the weather based off of how badly my body hurts. You know, you ever wake up and you feel like, you know, oh, this is going to be a great sleep. And you go to sleep and then you wake up and you feel like you've been thrown out of a five-story window by Bruce Willis. That's where I'm at today. Yep. So, um, moving on. I hear CeeLo. And, oh, there's Loki. Loki's in the window. I don't know if I can get these guys or not. Um, my camera skills are not so great. It is a little bare. But you see out there, buddy? See squirrel? He's like, get the hell out of my yard, you so-and-so. And there's Sela down there actually not really caring about much of anything. And there's my stash I'm going to share with you momentarily. So, up above is my Nora Corbett bird mashup. I don't know what else to call that. I didn't dare ask my husband to take it down so I could share with you. So I'm going to try and walk backwards with this up. This ought to be fun after having ankle surgery and not re-injuring. So slowly I turn, step by step. The cats are looking at me like, Mom, what in the hell is your problem? All right, whoops, too far. So there it is. Um, screenshot it, I guess. I don't know, whatever you folks do to get a better view. But that is the mirror mashup I did. With Nora Corbett birds, I left the background off, and I it was wound up being a round robin, so some friends did that, and I think I wound up stitching like two of the birds myself. I know like five people, seriously. I took the motifs off of a couple of the birds that I liked the most and used them on the ends and the top. So from my understanding, the framer, like, cussed me out because it's a it's a pretty big piece take all six of those bad boys and line them up and and you'll see but it's beautiful here in my sunroom I like where it's at it's where it's staying and I'm not moving it and god knows I sure as hell am not dusting it hey it'll be natural you know whatever so um <laughs> random things that are said in my house um I, I, I don't know why I was thinking of this but I was thinking of this earlier today that I'm here by myself sometimes and I come across stuff that's like, what in the hell is this? I swear people in this house mess with me just to mess with me. I opened the refrigerator the other day. The random thing that was said was, why are there whoppers in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator? No clue. None. I just slowly pushed them back there and just left them where I found them. Another random thing is um, when I go into a restroom, or restroom, my bathroom, and there's no toilet paper. And I find myself saying to myself, let me introduce you to a roll of toilet paper as I envision how I'm going to play this out with my grown adults when they get home. I swear to God. How, it, it doesn't get any easier, guys, when they get older. The older they get, the more it's like, Bye, even more so. Another random thing. Uh, the cats are magicians. I swear to God. I, I will be in there feeding them one moment. And then the next moment, I turn around to go pick up their food dishes because Loki has different food than Sela. And if I don't pick up the food dish, Sela thinks it's cat buffet. And she's like, oh, look at that. There. There's the brown rice instead of the white rice. I'm going to try that. And she'll eat Loki's food. And I'm like, hey, oh my God, see, like, Ian, what are you doing? So I have to pick it up. It's not cat buffet. So I turn around to go pick up the food and poof, they're gone. 
they have teleported to another room. They are magicians, I swear to God. Another random thing in my house. So, um, funny thing happened to me the night before last. I was really tired, and I don't know about you, but when I get really tired, I have really weird dreams. And there was a really weird dream I had of, my friends know that I have two loves in my life. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I love Johnny Depp as Captain Jack. He's hilarious. He's perfect. He's just a drunken fool. He makes me laugh. No matter what kind of day I'm having, having a really bad day, turn on some Captain Jack. He's fun. I mean, if I had to go on a pirate ship, I'd want to be on his crew because he's fun. But he's underlining extremely smart, too. Crafty. I like it. So um, there's Jack. And then the other love is um, Captain America. Yeah, I admit it. And it's not comic book Captain America. It's Chris Evans as Captain America. He really brought that comic book guy to life. And I know this is really nerdy for a woman my age to be talking about this. But, I mean, come on. Captain America. Whew. Man. Whew. So, I had a really weird dream the other night that um, I was helping with Captain America fight something. I don't know. And, you know, in your dreams, you're not who you are. You're like a, you know... You're blessed being like a size four. And if you're me, you've never been a size four in your life. You Maybe you were a size four at birth, okay? So at birth, I was a size four. You know, skip the 2T, 3T. I'm a size four. There you go. Go find some Jordache jeans in size four. Look at that little toddler go. And yeah, you know, size four. I was built back in my 20s, looking good, whatever. And I'm waiting for Cap's next orders. And I say to him, what's your orders, sir? And he looks at me and he goes, it's 3.30. <laughs> In a Mickey Mouse voice. I'm like, what? In my dream, I'm going, what? Did I just hear you right? I said, Cap, what are your orders? And he says to me again, oh, it's 3.30. I felt this nudge and I, I woke up. What in the hell was that? Only to find out that my husband had grabbed his Apple Watch off the side dresser and he has the Mickey face on it. And when you tap Mickey's face, he tells you the time and laughs. That integrated into my dream. You know, you ever feel like someone's yelling at you and they're really yelling at you and you think it's in your dream? That integrated into my dream came out of Captain America's mouth as Mickey Mouse, and I woke up going, oh my God, I'm gonna kill him. I don't know who I'm gonna kill, my husband or Mickey Mouse? Yeah, can you see Lori going to Disney World down Main Street, and I spy that mouse, and I go up to him and say, you know, I don't know who you are. I will find you, and I will kill you. I will Liam Nielsen you if you ever wake me up out of a dream again with Captain America. You're not funny, Mickey, not at all. So when the husband gets home, I don't know whether to tell him about this or not, but I was kind of laughing. It's my life, people. Can't make this up. So, uh, moving on. <laughs> I have two, uh, speaking of Captain Jack and Captain America, I have two friends that go to retreats with me, and Pocket Jack has been around for a long time. And anyone that knows me knows that I take Pocket Jack to retreats. He sits by my stitching stuff. He holds my needle. He's he's hilarious. He's amazing. He has swung from hot lights. It, yeah, he's crazy. He, he gets into trouble. So Pocket Jack needed a companion, and um, he got Cap. Yeah. So Lori's happy at retreats. I got my stitching buddies, Cap and Lil Cap. And I'm a full-grown woman playing with action figures. Yippee. I received a wonderful gift in the mail from Karen, and Karen, yeah, I'm sharing this because it was funnier than hell. I was, you know, you go back to that dream, Captain America, living the dream, and I opened this up because she sent a model for me to do, which I can't talk about it because I'm not going to talk about it, but it's amazing. Um, but... Yeah, this, this is like the best thing since sliced bread. So as soon as I got up from that dream and had my wits about me, I went and took a big whiff of this wonderful candle she sent me. And mm, 
it smells like musk. It, oh my, I can't even, I can't. It smells so good. I don't want to light this. I mean, it's wonderful. I mean, you're having a bad day. You, you know, you got, the things got you down. Go have a sniff of Chris's neck. Or, you know, as my husband said, it's probably not his, <laughs> it's probably not his neck. Like, really, hon? <laughs> you know what? Don't care. You know, it smells wonderful. Holy Moses, cheap pie. Yep, saving onto that one forever. Then, <laughs> I'm laughing my head off as I open this, and I'm also blushing at the same time, because I'm like, seriously, if I ever met this man, I would probably go, hi, uh, uh, pleased to meet you, uh, and it would probably stumble over my words, like, you, you want to see Lori look like an idiot, that would be it. So, anywho, she got me this wonderful snuggly, like it, that also may come to retreats with me if I ever go back. Look at this, oh my god, look at this. I told my kids about this, and my one son was like, seriously, Mom? I'm like, oh, yeah, come on. Who would not want to cuddle with Cat? Give me give me a break, people. You don't want to cuddle with Cat? We need to talk. Privately, on a one-on-one -on -one level. Because the man is just... I'll leave it at that. Yep. <laughs> Not as good looking as my husband, in my opinion, but he runs a real neck and neck close second. All right, Stash. Boy, that movie, Everything All at Once, Everywhere, or whatever it is, that's kind of what happened with Stash. Everything came all at once, and it was everywhere. So um, I got fabric, and I got fabric, and I got more fabric. And I ordered from Leslie Sale, Under the Seas, when she had it at the end of the year. I always try to sprinkle the love. And my stash enhancement came. So first up is Neptune. And this is 32 Lagana. Kind of came out here too. I really hope you can see the colors in this. Holy, it's pretty. It's just really pretty. That's just, I got a fat, fat quarter. Yeah, fat quarter. Yep. So that's the top half. It's subtle. It's pretty. It's mermaidy it's i'm gonna slaughter leslie's names on these fabrics so leslie if you ever watch this i apologize ahead of time yeah this is opal neptune um okay, why get plain when you can have opal you know uh fat quarter lugana 28 i'm an even weave whore yeah i said it i don't care i'm a whore I'm hoping you can see the opal in the sunshine. Sunshine. Look at that. Very, very similar to the one I just showed you. It's just, um, it's opal. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Got, I don't know what I have planned for. I have absolutely nothing planned for this. I just need some fabric stash because you're talking to someone that has like really no fabric. I, I don't have any fabric. This is probably a name I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to slaughter this one. 32, it's like that crystal that I can't say. Yeah. 32 regular Lugana. Um, Scylla? 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 Potato, potato. S-C-Y-L-L-A. Sorry. I just am not good with this stuff. So I just know that it's really pretty fabric and I wanted it. It's subtle. It's a neutral. Um, it looks kind of like a really light between a... Oh, I can't even describe it. It's like a really super light, bluish, tannish. I, I can't describe it. it. It's a prim color. It looks really, it's going to look really good for primitive stuff. And I'm liking that. I do like some prim stuff, guys. I'm not completely, you know, like I said, I, I like a little bit of everything. And I do whatever fits my fancy. Take that however you'd like. This one is... A fat quarter, 32 regular linen, uh, sur 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 I'm, again, I'm slaughtering these, C-E-R-E-S, all I know is it's really cool, and don't judge me for not being able to pronounce these, but this one's really cool, this one has, um, it's going to be a good Halloween fabric, I think, or a, a real, real nice prim, but it's, it's really crazy different, 
it's it reminds me of an old printing press kind of thing it's got um i know that looks black but it's actually a i think it's a blue tone correct me if i'm wrong peeps but um yeah it's it it's gonna be good for some prims or halloweens or whatever and the last one i got i'm gonna give you one guess what this is well guess take a guess anybody take a guess what was that did you say whimsical winter oh my god how did you guess okay i've got a fat half yay um it is 32 joe blend whimsical winter and this is my favorite whimsical winter in joe blend so um yeah it, it's 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 so many uses i just i can't even it's really pretty colors together, jewel tones, that kind of really light. You, well, you saw. I just showed it to you. Jeez. All right. Next up is I got Just Man's Winter Rose from Leslie on Stash Unload. Um, sorry for the glare. I'm a Michigander. I see the sun like maybe once or twice a year if I'm lucky. So bear with me. Yep. I'm... I think I'm going to go crazy. It calls for 32 weeks Morris Blue Linen. I think I'm going to just not do the called for fabric for this Nan for once. So, yeah. There's that. And let's see. I got some mine. There's, um, that's the other thing is in my temporary craft room, I'll show you folks someday uh, my minder setup that I have. It's not the best temporarily. Right now it's doing the trick. It's fine cabinet. And... It's an old filing cabinet I got from Michigan State University, um, one of their sales, and it's a fossil like me. It was like me in the 80s, and um, it holds my mind. It's really great, and the other day I got OCD, and I organized them all according to category. God, middle life. These are from Maples, Minders, and More, Facebook. Um, she sent me a freebie. Hilarious. Uh, you're awesome. Keep that shit up. Keep telling myself that every single day. You're awesome. Keep that shit up. Whoop, whoop. And then I got to talk to me goose, and that's a terrible idea. What time? Yeah. Of course, um, I really wish I would have had talk to me goose when I worked on talk to me goose, but it's okay because um, it's it's goose. I love goose. He was my kind of person. He'd be the kind of guy I date. Oh, guess what? I did date a guy like Goose, and I wound up getting married to him. Imagine that. Okay, moving on. Squirrel. Um, Black Needle Society has their vaults, and um, I've been like eyeballing their vault for this one, and uh, because it was in one of their recent boxes, and I wanted the board. And I got it. I, I've been hounding it. But this is Karen Strawberry and Cream. Strawberries and Cream. And I love strawberries. Vanilla. I love food. Who am I kidding? And the board, black, it came in Black Needle's box. And I wanted it specifically. I wanted I wanted this pattern. And but I wanted the board to mount it on. And so I got the board too. I'm a it's a little misshapen at the top. I like it and I don't like it. I don't know how else to say that. That's just me. I'm not going to complain because the board, you know, here is nice and round and looks like a cutting board. Um, but I will use this. I will probably, you know, I'll use it. I'll use it for Karen's because I wanted the board and I got the board. So there you go. I'm hoping that, you know, this is really chunked out here. I'm hoping that it doesn't interfere with the pattern where I have to do it on a smaller count. But hey, I got it. That's all that matters. I got it. I'm very happy with that. All right, so more little things I got. <clears throat> Nothing major. Um, Jen and I, Jen Upton and I, went in together and we split the cost. And we found um, the kits on eBay for an atrocious price price but we split the cost so I had some of the kits she had some of the kits and you know we filled in what we didn't have and the big thing about these kits you know like Lori what kits are you talking about Jesus get to the point um the sweetheart tree these are older than dirt okay really 
Um, these kits were sold for like, I don't know, anywhere ranging from 18 to 25 bucks, depending on the store, I guess. I, I love these. They're very primitive. They're very antique. They're very old. My goal was to stitch them all and put them in a basket, get some Lady Dot um, trim and have at it and just have them sitting out all year. Finding the kits are elusive as hell. Yeah, it's like, yeah, whatever. When I do find one on eBay, I do bid on it, even though Jen and I split and, you know, doing what we're doing. But the thing that thing is that they sold these patterns by themselves for the same amount that the kit costs for. And the only thing you got, I think, was just the pattern. I don't even think you got, and Jen talked about this too. I don't think you even got the, the charms, the buttons, or anything like that. With these kits, uh, you get, like, all of it. You get the fabric. Um, you can switch fabric out. That ain't a big deal. But you got the fabric. You got the pattern. But you got the beads and the charms. You got a flippant. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I got two needles in that one. You got a needle in it. I haven't opened the kit. But you got, you know, the bead pack, right? Well, now you don't get any of that. Well, it's kind of expensive to buy a pattern for 20 something dollars and you don't get the fringe benefits. So, um, trying to piece and part and put these together is hard. And sorry, I got squirreled watching a goose fly by. So, when I see one, I get one. I'm not in any priority to stitch these right now. Eventually, I'd like to just to go with the decor of the house. As you can see, I got, like I told you before, a modern farmhouse. So um, it, it would fit in. All right. I'm working up I do have some finishes to show you guys. They're older finishes. Um, I forgot to grab my temperature butterfly, butterfly temperature. Holy crap, I've got fabric behind me. I forgot to show you too. Wow. Okay. Um, these are old finishes. Grandma Girl's Designs on Etsy. The nicest girl. Oh my god, I love her. She's so funny. She's so sweet. Um, she, she's just she has some quirky stuff. If you like quirky, there you go. But Star Wars Marvel, right up my alley. This one is As You Wish Boba Fett, and I finished it very grandma. -y. Hmm. You're talking about my future, probably. So As You Wish. Kind of trying to get it out of the light. I finished it with the old-fashioned flowers, the lacy-looking ribbon, the cheesy-looking ribbon that you find at Joanne's. It has its place, though. I really like it. And, yep, stitched it on Ada because it's old. And then I finished it with a Star Wars backing. I painted the hoop yellow and went all the way around with the ribbon. Not a hard finish, guys. Not at all. I did... Um, before I finished, I did lace it in the back, and then I filled it with like scraps of fabric. So little things that I have laying around here. Um, I Sorry, squirrel again. I'm looking at a squirrel and a cardinal that look like they're about ready to go down to WWF here at the bird feeder. That ought to be fun. Damn, nature. So I filled it with the hoop, it does uh, fabric. And then all I did was I found a centerpiece of the fabric that I liked that I wanted to dis like display, showcase display. So if you're hanging this, you know, and they turn because, the, yep, see, um, it's pleasant to the eye on both sides. So I found Darth, cut it out, glued it on the edge of the hoop, and it's not too puffy. It's just enough to give it stability. And there you go. So comic book Darth, Boba Fett. As you wish. If you don't know what any of those references are, you've either not seen Star Wars as many times as I have, or you've never seen it. Next one I have Grandma Girl Designs I did was um, Captain America. It's called Language. Um, that's the big thing is I always used to say to the kids, if they, like, language. I say it now as they're adults. No, I didn't have five swearing toddlers running around elementary school going, GD teacher, what do you think? Or gosh darn it, blah, blah. No. Um, I say that to them now. 
as I've said that to him as I got older, because you can see the temptation there. I'm going to test my limits to swear, and here I go. Um, this is language. I asked, I, I reached out to her because I loved the grandma girl feel to it, the old antique kind of, this is what my grandmother would work on. And she designed this for me. She did do the wings in green. I switched it out for blue. She absolutely loved it. I finished it the same way as I did Boba Fett and painted it, highlighted it with the blue fabric, flowers from Joann's, the little um, like accent things in the back of the store, and Captain America back. Turned out pretty cool. Again, you can kind of see, I filled it just a little bit. Finished the same way. Ooh, there you go. I have these hanging from my doorknob in my craft room. And then the last one, again, is Gram again, Grandma Girl Designs. These are all Grandma Girl Designs. Um, I love Rocket from Guardians. Uh, he's a feisty little thing, and he's a trash panda. He's awesome. And one of the things he says in the movie is, Ain't no thing like me except me. And that resounded with me, you know? Um, if you know Guardians and the character and you know the comics behind it, you know, Gar Rocket was just a regular old raccoon in his own business and he was used as an experiment and made into what he was, which is kind of, he could talk and, you know. But um, he doesn't know what he is. And so here you go. Ain't no thing like me except me. And Rocket is Rocket. And I love him for it. So uh, I finished it the same way. I did it all in black because I didn't, I, I wanted that orange to pop out. So I orange flowers on the top. And then Rocket and Groot, I moved on the back. So fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Sometimes I even forget I have them. And, you know, they're on the back of my door now. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I did this. Yikes. Um, fabric I forgot to show because I'm a moron and I got all excited about other things, squirrel. Um, Oksana on Stash Unload, 28 Count Monaco. Um, this is like a, kind of like a, a deep grizzly bear brown. It, the, really, the camera's not picking this up. It's a, it's a richer brown than this. Wicked cool fabric. I love Monaco. Always have like stitching on it. It's got that nice heavy feel to it. It holds the stitches nice. Um, you know, and it doesn't have the lint boogers like linen does. This is, um, Mystic Fabrics Polar Bear, 16 count Ada, trying to build up my Ada stash. I do like Ada. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not anti-Ada, except 18 count. But this is Polar Bear. This is super pretty. Just a hint of modeling. It's not obnoxious modeling. It's consistent modeling. I like that. I like that a lot. Yep. That's why I got it. Because I liked it a lot. So that's from Mystic. I think I have some fabric still coming from Be Stitch Me. I don't know. Every day in the post office is a surprise. Uh, one more from Mystic Dark Sea Glass. Uh, 16 count Ada Opal. This one is super pretty. Look at that. Oh, it's super pretty. You ever have a fabric that you just don't want to stitch anything on? You just like to look at it? Yeah, I'm going to frame that. And look at the back side. The back side is just as gorgeous as the front. Wow. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. One more. Um, Susan from Black Cauldron Design sent this home with Karen to send to me as a here, feel better, Heal your ankle. Here's a pick me up. Susan, I love you. That was awful, awful nice. Um, we were talking, she showed me her table that had like no fabric left on it. I'm like, good for you because that's amazing. Um, I'm like, wait a minute, nobody bought that pink? What the hell is wrong with them? And people do stitch on pink. Anyway, this is a half a yard of Walk of Shame Lugana. It was a gift from Susan. Um, respect. I, I can't thank her enough. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. It really is. And it's not like an obnoxious purpley pink. 
it's really, really well done. Pretty, 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 pretty. Um, some, um, some Nora's would look really pretty on that. Oh, there is that. Okie dokie. That looks done, I promise. Get your act together, Curtis. All right, so what else do I have to show? I will run over and get my temperature butterfly so you can see that. I found this on clearance at Wally World. Sorry, putting stuff down on the floor. Got really, really lucky with this. Um, it's actually kind of cute. It says hello and you flip it over and it says goodbye. All joking aside, I thought about putting this out when my in-laws come on this side. Did I say that out loud? I'm joking, you know? So when they come in, it's like, oh yeah, it says goodbye. You know? I'm thinking what I might do is pop the hello goodbye off and find something that will be stitchable to where all I got to do is just mount it because there's nothing wrong with the board. Maybe just sand it down a little. This is the stuff I look for when I go out. I'm like, oh yeah, how can I put cross stitch to work on that? Uh, I know I saw this somewhere. Someone, someone posted this somewhere. Maybe it was Facebook. I don't know. Got this at Walmart. It's screaming finish me cute. So um, nothing's coming to, to mind yet. But sunshine, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, that didn't help. Hello. There we go. Um, rabbit ears on the frame. It's a four by four opening, but I'm thinking what I can do is like mount something over the opening, not necessarily put something in the frame. I can just, you know, use this. And if I bleed over, I bleed over. But um, yeah, rabbit ears. Who knew? Yeah, I should have got a second one. I could have put a bow on one of the rabbit ears and have a, you know, girl. Or <laughs> better yet, snapshot that one, Floss too. There you go, boy. Fly. All right. Oh, more needle minders. Shocker. These are from Gina at Gina's Unique Boutique. Uh, she sent me, <laughs> I sent her a picture and I said, Gina, please minder this. Not my coop, not my poop, not today, clucker. And that's exactly what I deal with on a daily basis. Not my poop, not my poop. Da, 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 da. I got a butterfly lady. Um, I love those. Then I got, oh, my queen. I miss her. I miss her in so many ways. I miss her. She's amazing. Could have used her over here for a while. And then it's a throat punch kind of day. I've already pre-warned my family that if they see that on my needlework, that they might want to not ask me stupid questions because they might get stupid answers. So... Um, there you go. And so lastly, um, I won her giveaway this round with the sandal, which is really cool. The beach sandal. And then the possums. <laughs> there's, there's five of them. <laughs> this screamed Lori, buy it. There's five possums on there. You have every day feels like a possum day where you're walking around going and look, feeling like a, this poor possum mother going, oh my God, get off my back. Can't you kids grow up and get out of my life in the house? Disclaimer, I love my kids. I would never want them out of my life, but there are days where I feel like, okay, it's time for you to go. Bye-bye. All right. Those are my needle minders from Miss Gina Gina Bobina. Uh, I ordered, I, I, I thought I would try the scale out. And um, absolutely no regrets, none whatsoever. Scarlet Sky Designs TX. So I'm gonna put up her little business card. Hopefully you can see that. I have really bad nails, sorry. I, I have man hands. I, I don't manicure and all of that because I work with my hands a lot. All I can say is she's amazing. She deserves like 50 stars reviews in my opinion. She does the cutouts, like, not die cast. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like the MDF board cutouts and cross stitch 
schools and she's coming up with more and more and more every day unique stuff that some things are finished which is a winner winner chicken dinner in my book other things are not finished and that's okay too when i have time in my life i will finish it but i don't know if she's a one-man band if she is even you know i'll bump those stars up to 75 because i placed a hefty order with her and it took a while so you got to have patience to get it if you place a hefty order i'm the kind of person with you know i don't want to order three things in the shipping that justify it so if there are a lot of things i like i'm gonna order it and they she had a lot of things that she liked so i'm going to show you some of the stuff she had i haven't even taken them out of packages yet so i apologize for that god i should have got some scissors maybe cats in america can help me out um but i ordered a corner guide like you're not helping cap come on um a stitch counter that's one thing that i sometimes struggle with that if the tag falls off I'm kind of screwed to know what that count is unless I've written it down somewhere or you know my inventory shows me otherwise so I ordered this little really cool tool that she has and I know you guys have seen these before and you're like yeah Lori people have the have had these like forever and you live under a rock that is also true but this one caught my eye because it has clock counts on both sides. Starting at 14, it goes from 14, 16, 18, 25, 28, and 32. Plus it has a corner guide for one and a half inches to two and a half inches. And then there's a small inch up to three inches on the top. So this little sucker is going to be a godsend for me, especially with the cloth, cloth count on the bottom because I do have some fabrics that I have no idea what the hell they are and I'm not in the mood to guess and I can count the thread count like 14, 15, 16 times and come up with 14, 15, 16 different answers. So this again is going to be a godsend for me to use this. See, it was talking to the birds. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Probably not. Do you feel better, Sila? Do you feel better? Both cats are in their perches. Um, Sila felt the need to just tell the birds to, you know, fly off. And I don't think she said fly because cat. Well, he's my good boy. He's sitting there and minding his own business. Shocker. Moving on. Uh, Easter egg. So this is paintable. And the reason why I got this was to finish my um, Snowflower Diaries rabbits I showed, I think, in my first plus tube. The two little brown bunnies, one in a skirt. And I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. That part's not calling to me. When it does, I will finish this. But it come, came with a stand. And then this is actually grooved. So if you want a two-tone paint, you can. But distressing is going to have to happen with that. Um, again, it's not finished, so it's not quite calling to me yet, but the concept of what I want to do is, so I got that. That's one thing. One thing leads to another, and that's exactly what it's doing. Stars. Oh, American stars. I love Americana stuff. Fourth of July, freedom, where our country came from. Where is it going? You know, questions that... Our forefathers asked and wondered and, you know, we're continuously going on and on and on and growing as a country. So, you know, two steps forward, five steps back, five steps forward, two steps back sort of thing. We're still a young country. Anyway, I love Americana stuff. So I'm opening one of these right now so you can see the quality of how well it's made. And if you go to her Etsy shop, you can see some of her finishes on her boards um, cute ribbons in the corner, stuff like that. Um, just cute, 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 cute stuff. And she was wonderful to message and talk to. Can't say enough about her. So, yep, nope, I'm not boosting up a shop because I don't get anything reimbursed for this, nor do I expect it. But I, I think I've said this before. If I find a good quality product, 
you're gonna get my backing and I'm gonna shout out for you. And so that's what I'm doing. So here are her stars. Here's the blue one. And yep, I got all three. Red, white, and blue. And look at the distressing, love it. These came finished. I don't have to worry about it. I know that may not seem like a big deal to some people, the whole whoopee do, Lord, you throw some paint on it and you're done. Not for me. It, it, it's, my OCD doesn't like that. And, you know, I have a hard time. That, that one's distressed too. God, I love that. That side probably will get used. The other side's distressed a little in the corners. Love it. Um, I, if I can, if I can find a product like these, these boards, I'm sure it's MDF board. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure it probably is. If I can find these products finished, I'm buying them finished. You'll get my business. That's all there is to it. So one more thing, two more things, excuse me. This one, I got to figure out how I'm going to mount it. Uh, I think it's going to need a stand of some sort. I might like get a plate stand. It, it's, it's not that heavy. It's just the shape that it is. And it screams, Lori, it's a chicken. Yeah. Love chickens. And I have chickens kind of scattered throughout my house. Um, birds, chickens, that sort of thing. But um, I will find something cute to put on this. Yeah. So it's a chicken burger. And it is distressed and it's finished. And it's adorable. It's a chicken. Who doesn't like chicken? Come on. Not only are they little Tyrannosaurus Rexes, but they're tasty. Don't judge me. The last thing I have is, this may not look like much, but this is a, a double board. And I don't want to take it out because it's, it's like two sections. The back section is white and the front section is separate. Ooh, you'll see. And I fell in love with this on her site. And I've got to find the fabric strips that go with this. And I apologize. I don't have my phone here to show you how she finished it. But trust me, go to her Etsy site. And she has it finished really, really cute. But you can mount your stitching on the top. And then the bottom portion, do whatever you want to with it. So, And then it's got two hangers on the top. So here's the thing. Okay? may not look like much. Here's the two hanger holes. They're at the top. Okay? Sorry. Glare again. And then this at the bottom, open hanger. This is two layer. So when you put fabric in here, it'll hold the two together. But she had, I think, a, a little house needlework square framed in the center of this. Um, I will find something that it won't, you know, I thought about Karen's American Pie to go on there because it's elongated. And then that way my stars will pop out more. But she had fabric strips tied and, and hanging from, I want to say seven, um, from the band here and knotted at the top and they were rattered, rat rattered? Is that a new word? Rattered? <sighs> Tattered and kind of like torn, like old. And it, it really looked cool. But it wasn't finished. So I messaged her and I said, I, I have a favor to ask of you. It's not too much to ask. Would it be too much for you to finish this for me? And I will pay you extra to do it. And you know what she did? She said, no problem. I'm like, what? You gotta be kidding me. No problem? As much business as she gets, she's gonna take the time out of her busy day to do one simple finish for me and pop it in the mail amongst all my other hot mess order that I have. People, that's quality service. That That is good business. And for her to say no problem, you know, and, and that kind of brushed me off of, you know, um, or any customer, I don't have the time. I, that's important to me because I, I very rarely, I usually go outside the box of thinking and do things the way I, my little head works. And, but that, the way she had it finished with the tattered fabric and all of that really said, oh my God, I, 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 I really like it like that. I really like it like that. 
So for her to take her time out of her busy day to do this for me, can't thank her enough. It it will get done. It's like kind of moving up on my priority list of things I got to do. So if you give me a second, I will go grab my temperature butterfly and at least show you how far I've gotten on that because I'm a loser. Oh, one more thing I got to show you. I'm excited about this. Look at what I got. It's a fancy tip. Look at that. I go into my very bad English voice. So all you UK people, please don't hate me. I love your guys' accent and I'm super jealous I have this fast talking Michigan accent. Look at what I found at a Goodwill. It's a Royal Albert. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I am going to clean this bad boy up and I pin cushion and the top. And the fact that someone took somebody's collection of Royal Albert and broke it up and then didn't want it and gave it to Goodwill for it to get sold just breaks my heart. Breaks my heart that that happens. These are family heirlooms. I Listen. <laughs> Listen, listen, Linda, I am not, I, I, I've been an old soul since I was, you know, 16 and I'm into antiques, always have been and into saving things like that. Not a hoarder, just to me, family is important. And where do we, where did they come from? What cool stuff did your grandmother kind of do? And to just toss this aside in a goodwill because you don't, want it anymore i don't know maybe i'm just too materialistically attached to things like that but um i i would struggle if my cross stitch shows up in goodwill i've already forewarned my children that i will come back and okay cover your kids ears i will come back and kick their asses if it ever winds up in goodwill because that's a that's a part of me in that picture that's a part of me in that stitching and that's who I was. That's, that defined me. So, you know, carry that on because that's what makes my mark in life and um, outside of other things. But this is really who I am. And I don't want something like that showing up in goodwill. But if it does, I'm going to snatch it and buy it and do something with it because this is beautiful. Not a chip in it. There's not one little chip in it. Not one, not one. And I paid a whopping $3.30 for a piece of Royal Albert that God knows how long this, you know, it cost. I don't know how much back in the day. So bear with me. I'm going to twirl around here. I'm going to go get my temperature butterfly. And that way you can see that. Enjoy the temporary music. Da, 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 da. All right, time is your butterflies. Caught up to date with March so far. Couldn't even tell you what day it is, nor do I care most days. Here we go. So um, March has gotten just as cray cray as February. But it's looking good. You know, this one here. So with this temperature butterfly, it like goes back and forth. So, you know, left to right, or right to left, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it goes back and forth. So sometimes I wind up with days with the same color in a row here, even though it's opposite days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But this reminded me of a shield. And then of course my mind went to a butterfly wearing a shield out in the in life of nature and a bird tries to get it, and it's got a shield going back off, you know? Yeah, my mind. I, no wonder I have the crazy dreams I have. So, um, yeah, so butterfly temperature thingy is all caught up. Have a little sniff Chris. Life is good. And I can't discuss the MIPs I have going right now. I can tell you that three of them are Nora's. One of them is for um, Meridian. The one for Meridian, I can tell you, is for Leslie's Under the Sea box she's coming out with in May, I think. Um, and it's a mermaid box, and it's going to be really cool. So I um, received about 10 days ago 
three Nora Corbett's in the mail. Never gotten three models before. I've got one done. So um, I feel the pressure a little bit alleviating. So one model is done. I'm waiting for the okie dokie on the beading so I can go ahead and proceed with that. And then I'm whipping out meridians real quick for um, so she can have this for the box. And then I'm going right back at the next two Nora's. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a mirror coming up in May. So um, I'm busy with MIPs and um, talked with Silver Creek yesterday and Diane and Clinton, um, Clinton said that, sorry, looking at a woodpecker at my bird feeder and I've not seen one like that. That's pretty cool. Usually we get black and white ones with redheads. This one's like all brown and he's really beautiful. Damn nature, you're cool. Anyway, um, I think Diane's got some stuff that's going to be coming to me soon when I don't know. And, and that's okay. Diane's amazing. She's like, you know, I, I got some stuff for you. No hurry, whatever. So I'm kind of excited about that too. So my stitching is on a hi hi hiatus. Yeah. Just for a little bit. Um, I'm always going to try and squeeze in something and if I can. I'm the kind of person that if I get models, everything stops and I'm working on models. And I know that sounds really silly because I need to do for me too. But these folks depend on me to get this stuff back. So I work on it and I get her done. So there you go. Well, I've got both cats that have been giving me dirty looks for the past hour of, you know what? Um, quit talking. We're tired of hearing you. And I can only imagine the grand Pumbaa public is tired of hearing. Let's see if I can get these brats on the camera. There's Loki watching cat TV. Very, very, very. And then I've got Sila Sila. Itty bitty. Say hi to the public, you pirate. She's like, Shut up, mom. Leave me alone. God, you're annoying. So there's Sila. And there's my handsome boy. Hi, little bear. What you doing? Can you say hi? Giving you eye kisses, people. That's something. All right. Another week down. I don't know how often I'm supposed to be doing these things. So, um, oh, real quick, I totally appreciate the shout outs. Um, B&E &E, &E Stitchery. God, don't hate me. Um, two needles pulling thread. My God, you guys are amazing. And I want to just personally say thank you to each and every one of you for hitting that subscribe button and leaving me comments. I am trying to um, respond in some capacity, whether it's a thank you for stopping by, which I truly, really mean that. Or, um, you know, if you got questions, plug them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. If it's regarding models, I can't, I can't tell you what they are. Um, I can just tell you that, you know, they're getting done. Um, if you have any questions regarding anything, just let me know. I'm going to try and figure out a way to jerry-rig my camera to where I can do um, some hands-on stuff so I can start showing you guys that. And again, I don't know how often I'm supposed to be posting these things. Are there rules? Because I'm breaking them, you know. I Anybody, can anybody tell me? Are there rules? Hell's bells, I don't know. I know that there's no rule as to how many times I can sniff this candle every day. God, sweet baby Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Real quick end on this note. I One random thing I did say today. Today, of all things, I sneezed. I'm here by myself at home. I sneezed. And you know when you sneeze, someone says gesundheit, right? I'm looking around for somebody to say gesundheit. Because you know why you say gesundheit, right? Rumor has it, I think, or legend or whatever the hell it is, that you're supposed to say God bless you or gesundheit so the devil doesn't like take your soul or something crazy like that. As a kid, that's what I was told. Always say gesundheit, because if you don't, then the devil has access to your soul. Who comes up with this shit? Really? So I'm looking around for somebody to say gesundheit. I sneezed. I'm looking at the cats going, oh yeah, you're not helpful. Looking around, no one's here at home. So, you know, hey, I guess today the devil gets my soul. I'm possessed by Satan, so this is going to be a fun day. So on that note, have a great rest of your week. Happy stitching. It's not a race.
get it done when you get it done. Enjoy it. Stay out of trouble because I know that I won't. All right, see you later.